guys welcome back to my channel my name is amber for those of you who don't know if you do know then thanks for coming back um we're going to continue what we started yesterday which is where i read two chapters of the bible for those of the for those people who don't have a bible um and can't really afford one i guess or for people who just like to be read aloud to or for people who don't have a smartphone so they can't download the app or whatever um so we're, we read chapters 1 and 2 in Genesis yesterday, and today we're going to read chapters 3 and 4. So we're going to read about Cain and Abel and how Eve ate from the tree, of, uh, the tree of knowledge and disobeyed God and how God came in and uh, walked the earth and spoke to them and how they hid themselves. So we're starting chapter 3 right now, which is the temptation and the fall. So here it goes. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you can't eat from the tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat the, tr the fruit from the trees in the garden. But about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, You must not eat it or touch it or you will die. No, you will not die, the serpent said to the woman. In fact, God knows that when you eat it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The woman saw the tree was good for food and delightful to look at and that it was desirable for obtaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open and they knew they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made covering for themselves sin's consequences then the man and his wife heard the sound of the lord god walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze and they hid from the lord god among the trees of the garden so the lord god called out to the man and said to him where are you and he said i heard you in the garden and i was afraid because i was naked so i hid then he asked who told you that you were naked did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man replied, The woman you gave to be with me, she gave me some of the fruit from the tree, and I did eat it. So the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate it. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than any livestock and more than any wild animal. You will move on your belly and eat dust all of the days of your life. I will put hostility, hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. He said to the woman, I will intensify your labor pains. You will bear children with painful effort. Your desire will be for your husband, yet he will rule over you. The ground is cursed because of you. You will eat from it by means of painful labor. All the days of your life it will produce thorns and thistles for you. And you will eat the plants of the field. You will eat bread by the sweat of your brow until you return to the ground since you were taken from it. For you are dust and you will turn to dust. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all living. The Lord God made clothing from skins for the man and his wife, and he clothed them. The Lord God said, Since the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, he must not reach out. I'm going to pause right there because in the Bible, well, the verse I just said said, has become like one of us. Now, I know that there is only one God, but to me, that has always stood out because, like, I know there's angels up there. I know, you know, Satan fell and, like, one-third of the angels. Like, I know all of that, but that makes me wonder if there's, like, other higher powers, but powers that are lesser than God. You know what I mean? Like, I do believe God is the one and only God. Like, I'm not saying other gods, but, like... Does that make sense? I don't know. That was just a thought that I've always had whenever I read that. Um, anyways. So the Lord God sent him away from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he was taken. He drove the man out and stationed the cherubim and the flaming, whirling sword east of the Garden of Eden to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Cain murders Abel for... 
The man was intimate with his wife Eve, and she conceived and gave birth to Cain. And she said, I have had a male child with the Lord's help. She also gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel became a shepherd of flocks, but Cain worked the ground. And the curse. In the course of time, Cain presented some of the land's produce as an offering to the Lord, and Abel also produced, also presented an offering, some of the firstborn of his flock and their fat portions. The Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but he did not have regard for Cain and his offering. Cain was furious, and he looked dispotent. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you furious, and why do you... Way too many pages. Turn there. Sorry, guys. And why do you look despondent? If you do what is right, won't you be accepted? But if you do what is right, sin is crap. Wait. But if you do not what is right. Sorry, guys. Sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. And Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out into the fields. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's guardian? Then he said, what have you done? Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed, alienated from the ground, that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood you have shed. If you work the ground, it will never again give you its yield. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. But Cain answered the Lord, my punishment is too great for me to bear. Since you are banishing me today from the face of the earth, and I must hide from your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth, whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord replied to him, In case, in that case, whoever kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. And he placed a mark on Cain so that whoever found him would not kill him. Then Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden, the line of Cain. Cain was intimate with his wife. And she conceived and gave birth to Enoch. Then Cain became a builder of a city, and he named the city Enoch after his son. Irad was born to Enoch. Irad fathered... Okay, guys, forgive me for this, because I don't know how to say a lot of these names. Because I'm not originally from... You know... Where the Bible times were. Like, the Garden of Eden, and... The Euphrates River and the Tigris River, like in that area, like I don't, I'm not from there, so I really don't know how to pronounce these names. So when I read these chapters, I just say the names the best I can. So, but if you guys know how to say them, please inform me because that would be wonderful. Mehujael, Mehujael fathered Methushael, and Methushael fathered Lamech, and Lamech took wives for himself, one named Ada and the other named Zilla. Ada bore Jabal. He was the father of the nomadic herdsmen. His brother was named Jabal. He was... So we have Jabal and Jubal. That's tongue-tie there. He was the father of all who played the lyre. I don't know how to say that word. And the flute. Zilla bore Tubalcane, who made all kinds of bronze and iron tools. Tubalcane's sister was... Nama, Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice. Wives of Lamech, pay attention to my words, for I killed a man. Ooh, Lamech did it. I don't know why that's just now dawning on me, because I've read the chapter through before. And I guess it's like every time I read the chapter, like a light bulb goes off my head to something that I might have missed before. You know? So <laughs> forgive me, guys. You guys are probably going to agitate. I'm sorry. For I killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain is to be avenged seven times over, then for Lamech it will be seventy-seven times. Adam was intimate with his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth. For she said, God has given me another child in place of Abel, since Cain killed him. A son was born to Seth also, and he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. All right. So we read chapters three and four today. Just to recap, Cain killed Abel. Uh, Cain, Cain's offering was not really accepted, but um, Abel's was. 
Eve disobeyed God. She listened to the serpent. She ate from the tree of knowledge. It opened their eyes. They found out that they were naked. Because uh, even though they could physically see each other before, it opened their eyes knowledge-wise so that they knew they were naked. Like, they were ashamed of themselves. That's what that means. Um, and I'm sorry that I mispronounced some of those names. Some of those names are really, honest to God, don't know how to say. Um, but tomorrow we're going to read chapters 5 and 6. So we're going to read about the line of Seth. And the sons of God and daughters of mankind, which is about, you know, the angels coming down and having sex with uh, women down here. And it produced giants. So we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, I can't wait to really dig into the Bible because I have a couple of really good favorite stories in here that I cannot wait to read. Um, will you guys, um, I just finished the Old Testament all by myself. So, like I said yesterday, we're going to read the Bible all the way through together for those of you that like to be read to. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you would like to. Um, if not, you totally don't have to. Um, but thanks. Bye.